Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Simplifying logarithms, uh, especially such questions where they say, simplify each of the following logarithm without a calculator these are common questions that you find in an exam usually they're around three marks four marks depending on the complexity of the question but it is areas whereby i will encourage you that uh never get this wrong because most of the time such uh the examiners are always going to give you something that simplifies uh that can always be simplified into a simple whole number or into something very, very easier. So what you need to do, the moment they say, do not use a calculator, that is when you must use a calculator. So you take your calculator, in this case, maybe let me start by dividing my line. Uh, the moment the examiner says, don't use a calculator, remember the laws are meant to be broken. So the moment they say, don't use a calculator you you take a calculator and you say log 64 over log base 2 of 4 now see what the calculator is going to give you so now if you punch it enter that is log use that log with a base is base 2 and then it's 64 then you play down and then you use that log again with a base 2 of 4 the answer is 3 so the question is how did the calculator get the 3 so what you can do is you move on and say okay let me focus on my top part which is your log base 2 of 64 punch it with your calculator separately to see what it gives you so it's log base 2 of uh, 64 you see that that is a 6 okay and then you punch also log base 2 of 4 so you see i'm using a calculator just to get an idea of what am i dealing with or how does each simplify see i'm getting a 2 there so it makes sense that it's 6 divided by 2 then i get a 3 so this is my 1 this is my 2 this is my 3 now i'm going to be working towards these answers but even if i tr if i maybe make an error i'm able to correct it quicker because I already know the answer i already know what i'm working uh, towards but now it is me or it is my duty to use the laws of logarithms so that i can prove what i already know i think that is already a better comfort to say working towards what you know is better than working towards what you don't know so now there are two ways you could have approached this one i'm going to start with a simpler version to say the first part you could have done this let me work it uh, from here the first part you say if you know your times table you can know that 4 and 64 they are linked together now if you take a calculator and try to link these two you will know that if I say 4 times 4 it's 16 times 4 it's 64 so you see that if I say 4 to the power of 3 that is 64 which is a relief so what i will have here i will say this is same as log in base 2 of 4 to the power of 3 over log in base 2 of what of 4 that is the first part which is equal to therefore as i said your laws of logarithms are important there is a law which says if you are given log in base a of b to the power of x it is equal to so what you do is you take this 
power, which is the exponent, it drops down there such that it becomes x log base of a of b. So you see that the exponent has dropped. So in the same manner, this particular 3 will drop down there such that I will have 3 log in base 2 of 4 over log in base 2 of 4. Now, this is interesting now to say, how do I simplify? You can therefore, you are allowed to say this is log base 2 of 4, this cancels and log base 2 of 4, it cancels. It's like you have got 1 there, you have 1, so 3 over 1 and the answer becomes directly 3. Remember the final answer in this case was 3, so this is a, a, a way you could have gotten it. But as I said, the ease, this is method number 1. The E is method number 2, which was using this number 6 and this number 2. How do you go about that? The hint is your base 2 there. If I can just give. Whenever examiners are giving you these questions, the hint is always to work towards this base 2. So the question is, can I make 64 in terms of base 2? And can I make 4 in terms of base 2? Now, Using the calculator, you can start by uh, trial and error. You say 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. You say 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. You say 2 to the power of 6. You see, 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So you know already that in this case, this is equal to log base 2 of 2 to the power of 6 over, you know what is 4, 4 is 2 squared, over log in base 2 of 2 to the power of 2. Again, what you're going to be using then, you will be using the law of uh, uh, logarithms. You're you are using the same law that I used here, whereby the power was dropping. So what you have, you are going to and in this case, take the 6, drop it, again take this 2, drop it, that's what you'll be using, like that, we have got in this case 6 log in base 2 of 2 over 2 log in base 2 of 2, you see that? Now you can do the same thing whereby we cancelled log base 2. You can see that this is now log base 2 and log base 2. Now you've got 6 over 2. But in I can choose to use another law. I'm just extending this uh, kind of scenario just for your sake. To say remember there is another law which says log in base A of A is equal to 1. So whenever the base and the number repeating is equal to 1, so you can see here also that you've got 2, 2. So it's like you've got 6 times 1 over 2 times 1. You could have cancelled or you could have used this way. Whatever case, now 2 into 6, it is 3. And the answer finally becomes 3. This is just a good 3 marks, 4 marks that you can get in your exam. But you can see that it was actually not a complicated kind of a problem. The only thing that they were testing you on is, do you know your laws of logarithms? And can you simplify these using the advantage of the laws of logarithms without using a calculator? Remember, we use the calculator, but in this stage, you cannot prove that we use the calculator. I hope this was of benefit to you. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos 
of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website and trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.